So this is Jal Kumar Sen and today I am going to share with you another question that is uh, from transportation problem. Well first of all let me share with you this is a question of IS 2010 and in this question what we have given let me just write first uh, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, 7, 9, 10 and then 11, 9, 8, 7, 17, 14, 13, and then 10 let me just uh, check it out the question is right or not wrong 10 7 9 10 and 11 9 8 7 all right so 17 14 13 10 okay no problem now let's go to the question directly all right so we have given a question this is the question now what we have to do we have to just find out transportation cost for this uh, assignment problem all right this method i'm using here that is known as assignment method i mean assignment i mean hungarian method assignment problem basically this is so according to this method what we should do we just do one thing we just find out the maximum uh, not maximum the row from any row suppose that this is a row i mean this one is a row right so we'll find out minimum value from this row and subtract uh, from that value of each and every element from this row well okay let me just demonstrate that's why you can understand about it much better way all right so this is the table one two three four one two I hope you can see easily all right so this is a quick video because I'm a little bit in hurry so 2 and then 0 then 2 and then 0 so the same the same step I'm going to repeat here too so from this row the minimum value is 7 so we have to subtract 7 from each of the element present in this row only so here what we got 3 and then 0 then 2 then again 3 the same step I'm going to repeat with this row also here 8 is minimum so 3 and 1 sorry 7 is minimum so here 4 and then 2 and then 1 and 0 again here I got the minimum value is 10 so here remaining 7 and then 4 and then 3 and then 0 so this is all about what I did right now. Now before, I mean after just going through this step, what I have to do, I have to find out the minimum, I mean uh, at least, at least one zero should be there in row or column. If I will check out rows, then definitely I will get at least one zero in each row. But if you will check out column, then then it definitely will see in the first column and in the third column, we are missing a value that is zero. So what we have to do, we have to do the same operation what I did. I mean, we already did with row operation. We have to do column operation with these two to a column, right? So first of all, let me uh, create a table. That's why it will be easier for you to understand as well as for me to make you understand about it. So one, two, three, four, right? So here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the row column operation so according to this operation what I have to do I have to find out minimum value from this column so minimum value from this column is 2 so here what we got 0 1 2 and then 5 so what we got same as it is because we already have 0 in this column here we don't have 0 but minimum value is 1 so 0 1 1 and then 2 here or as it is we got a lot of zeros in this column so we don't need to repeat the step here now we got the third table here right so basically in is 2010 this question has been asked i don't know for how many marks maybe 10 marks they have asked this question well in my couple of other videos i will share with you a few other questions that's why it will be quite easier for you to understand as well as for me to make you understand each and everything about question asked from operation research and industrial engineering in competitive examination just like ies and gate all right so what we got here we got we have to check one thing that is each and every row and column must have at least one zero so here the condition is fulfilled all right so what I have to do I have to do one thing just pay attention what I'm going to share it with you right now we have to cover all zeros with minimum number of lines well I'm going to use I'm going to share with you a shortcut tip so here for how much uh, matrix we are getting 4 by 4 matrix all right so how many maximum zero you can get in each 
in any row or column 4. So can we find out any row or column having 4 zeros? No. But next number we have to search for that. And that, that is 3 zeros in maybe 1 row or 1 column. So here we can find out 1 row and column. We can just cover zeros here. In this case we can cover any one. Suppose that we are covering this one, this zeros. Alright. So now again we will find out is there any row or column having three zeros? No. Then we will move to the next one that is three zeros. I mean two zeros. So here we can find out that two zeros. Right. So we can do like this also. Now remaining what is remaining? Remaining we have you know uh, right now as you can see we are having uh, two zeros remaining here. So we have to do just that only because because of that so we have done it right because we cannot uh, cover all zeros by using one line because we have to draw four lines now what have to check at least all these lines must be equal to the matrix here how much matrix we are getting four by four matrix and number of lines are four that is important my dear that means the, the condition is fulfilling this is the condition we have to fulfill number of lines must be equal to number of the matrix the square matrix all right so now let's move let's make it under fresh table that's why you will get I mean, you will understand uh, we have to just cover all zeros within a box there's a certain rule for this and I hope you will understand in a couple of uh, minutes all right so let me use another color that's why it would be quite easier for you to understand all right so and then five four two zero now so just after getting the table what i have to do i have to find out i have to just listen to me my dear i have to find out a zero at one zero in a column or row here i can find out easily one zero now i have to look at this side this side this side and this side now i have to cross all zeros if we'll get any zeros in other side now we can see the next one next one any row or column having one zero i can see this row having one zero so this one this one must be cross right now i will see again another one this one already covered this one already covered right so how much so we did we have done because we have just cover all zeros in this question so here this one, this one, and this one, this one. All these four values we have to add, but we have to take values from the main table. Just important thing, my dear. So we have main table 10 plus 8 plus 7 plus 10, 10 and 20 and 15, 35. So the optimal solution, I mean transportation cost is 35 rupees. So this is how you can solve any uh, assignment problem which can be solved by using Hungarian method and uh, it is simple because within just 8 minutes we have completed this question and this question has been asking gate to, I mean sorry IES 2010 think about it if you understand it quite easily you can do it well thanks for watching see you soon in my next video if you'll get any question from industrial engineering or over you can ask me through facebook you can contact me on facebook i'll be there to help you 24 into 7 i will have i am helping and i will definitely help all of the students those are belonging from mechanical engineering branch thanks for watching see you soon in my next video Bye bye